this afternoon. Happy Friday. Um, as you can see by the title. Oh, I left her earring off. One on, one off. Mm. Anyway, um, I'm having a nacho cheese salad. Oh my God, that's a lot. The nachos are under it. Okay. So, yeah, let's just, just try to stir this thing up. The setup is awful. I, I, I thought I was gonna. Set you guys up so you can really see what's going on here, but apparently not. <laughs> First time in history I haven't been able to get somebody all the way together. Two bridges led it together to create an iconic and 
compression of the hey everybody. But in structural terms, after just four decades, this honeymoon was over. As reporter Alan Broden discovered. This sounds huge. The lifespan of the bridge was a serious concern. It's only the bridge. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'll wipe that off. 
care to be hepatitis B or go to infections or if you like symptoms or sores. Don't stop your marrow if you have an infection. Ask your hepatologist to ask your marrow. Go to my PSA uh, through the that long guys I just came up here to share my little my little lunch a little late lunch hey everybody Hey everybody! Hit the thumbs up for me, guys, please. And make sure you share this video, girl, because sharing is caring. I'm going to get so full like this was a lot, guys. Not this is going to be my last bite. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man. <laughs> Are you starving?
Did it freeze? Yeah, what happened with that? Despite the trial, Child. I am so full. I am full as a tick girl. Today, as the girl called it, phoning around. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Ooh, child, that was a lot of ram. Hey, Jackson. The old fourth road bridge is back in business. Hey everybody. So I'm gonna put my lips on real quick, guys. Ooh, child. Just a simple old lip. I'm gonna use um a Ruby Kisses Lick Liqueur. And it's in the color True Blood. Blood. Oh, okay, wait a minute. And I'm going to chew a little bit of gum for you guys. You like it? Mm. Oh, much better, um, Miss Cheryl. Much better, child. I had to lay down and go to sleep, girl. So I got a good night's nice rest last night, and that did my body some good. It did my mind some good. Like, it did everything some good. Thanks for asking, boo. Much, much better. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And how about you guys? How are you guys feeling today? I know a lot of you guys is thank God, thanking God it's Friday. But inside, the fire was raging out of control. Oh my God, you woke up with a cold, Miss Cheryl? Oh girl, colds are the worst. And you say you woke up with it. Oh my God. Got run down, huh? 
Sabrina. How you feel, Sabrina? That's how I was feeling yesterday, guys. <laughs> That's how I felt yesterday, guys. Sorry guys. So how, Sabrina, how did Sabrina say she was feeling? Hopefully better. So you didn't rain yourself down, Shirley. Now you didn't caught a cold. So what are you guys doing on this Friday? I need to be going up to the nail shop um, shortly after I leave here. That's what I want to do. Where weather's going to happen, I do not know. I've been trying to get to the nail shop all week, but I just every time I say I'm gonna go, something else comes up, and I'll be like, ah, I'll go tomorrow. So I just keep putting it off, girl, I'm putting it off. Yeah, so my day is going really well, um, actually, today, Brown Sky. Mm -hmm. Cleaning your basement. Oh, Lord, child. Yeah, I, I'm, um, I'm doing really good today. Um, hey, Majid, boo. How you doing? Too much snow and ice. Lord, Miss Cheryl. That's awful. I walked into five spiderwebs. Ooh, girl. I would have to get straight in the shower. Because one spiderweb will make you feel like the web is still on you, girl. Two hours later, you'd be still thinking it's a web somewhere. Doing like this. <laughs> so five of them. Oh, yeah. I'd be right in the shower, girl. I, that would be, I would be too itchy. <laughs> thinking it's a spider somewhere. Hey, Henry. Girl, mm-mm. I hate walking through spider webs. That is the worst. So are you all in for tonight or what? Oh, I started intensive therapy. My depression has gotten so bad. Oh, Sabrina. Really? You got it that bad? I'm trying to get motivation to get out of bed. Girl. Sabrina, this is so familiar. It hurts my heart because, girl, I know what you're going through, girl. I was so there. I was so there. And it is a struggle. Girl, oh my God, man. I'm telling you, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. That is the worst thing ever. Oh my God, girl. Wow, Sabrina. I really hope you snap out of it soon, honey. Mm. I was so there. 
Hi, Henry. How are you doing, Henry? <laughs> oh, my God, I was so there. I do not wish that on my worst enemy, girl. That getting out the bed thing, girl, that was my struggle right there. Any little bug or insect, and I turn into a plant. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do spiders at all. So listen, guys. So I'm not exactly sure where this happened at, but it was a story. Now, for the fact checkers, maybe you know, I'll go and find out exactly where it happened at. But there was a story with this guy. He was dumpster diving. Okay, check this out, guys. He was dumpster diving in a in a um a dumpster that was behind a restaurant and he was getting all the because the restaurant, you know, apparently, you know, after a certain date or whatever, they have to throw away certain things. And the dumpster was full of like, you know, whole head of lettuce and tomatoes and stuff like that. The man was in the dumpster getting all the lettuce out of the dumpster. Now, check this out. He worked at a, at a restaurant. I, I, I don't know if he owned his own restaurant, but they knew that he worked at a restaurant or that he was the owner of a restaurant because he had an apron on. He was literally in the dumpster, diving, getting the lettuce and all kinds of other stuff in there, I guess to take back to his business. Really, like, where they do that at? So he dumps the dive and then go in the back door of his restaurant and then serve this lettuce to people on their sandwiches or whatever have you. They called the authorities on him too, but it was because he had a, a, an apron on that they knew um, that, um, you know, that he worked at a restaurant. If he didn't have an apron on, they probably would have thought, oh, it's just some, you know, homeless guy probably trying to get food or whatever. But because he actually had an apron on, that meant he worked at a restaurant and girl, they called the people on him. He was literally dumpster diving and getting the lettuce, whatever the food that the restaurant had threw away. He was in there getting it. Oh man, bro, I'm telling you, man, people just don't want to do the right thing when it comes to food, man. That's crazy. That is crazy. Hey, Star. How are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly why I invested into making a garden, pesticides and scummy people. Exactly. Exactly, Sabrina. That's basically what it boils down to. That's basically what it boils down to. You got to start planting your own vegetables and stuff and, and just cooking your own stuff at home. That's what it really boils down to because people is just getting off the chain. They're getting off the chain. They are getting off the chain. Yeah, and then they spraying all the pesticides on on the on the um you know on the farm on the fields you know on your on your fruit and stuff, fruit and vegetables. They spraying a lot of pesticides on it to keep of course to keep the bugs from eating up their their uh, crops, but it's not good for us. It's killing the bugs and it's killing us too, actually. Something crawled on you and I lost my wig and it flew six feet away. <laughs> I'm not going to do this with you, Alice. <laughs> Oliver, we told you to invest in that Gorilla Snot Gel. That got to be glue or that Gorilla Snot Gel, girl. Now, we told you to get uh, brown skin and Miss Cheryl told you, girl, you need some You need some of that glue, girl. Essential oils, especially lemongrass, keeps away bugs. Oh, okay. So, see, why don't they do that instead of using stuff that, that's harmful to humans? I know that's right, Oliver. Ooh, girl. Mm-mm. I don't do the spider webs at all. Like I said, it feels like you still got spider webs. So when you two hours from the time you walk through it, it still feel like something crawling on. You be doing all like this. You like that. <laughs> that's crazy. So guys, I just came on here to holler at you guys. I'm, you know, sitting here 
got a little late lunch, me and my daughter, my daughter and I. And um, my husband had to take my son to the mall. He needed to go to the mall, so he's at the mall at the eatery eating, and we here where we at eating, so. Hi, Jessica Boo. I love the smell of lemongrass. It sounds like it smells good. Jessica Boo. Because oils have truth behind them. Big companies and drugs and pesticides. If you start using oils, they lose money. That's awful, man. That is absolutely awful. So you are for this Friday night, or what's we'll up with you guys for tonight? Me, I'm going to be working. Um, I'm going to leave now and um, go home so I can get working. No more, uh, no honey. Um, um, yeah, I'm not going to do no all-nighter like I'm done with that because, yeah, when it all boils down to it, you need your rest, guys. And those all-nighters are kicking my behind and, it, you know, it, it doesn't help when I become stressed because of evil work or because, you know, I end up getting bad news or whatever. Like, it's hard for me to deal with the stress when I'm extremely tired. It gives me a headache and everything. So I'm not going to do no, no more all-nighters for me. I need to be in the bed getting my rest, my proper rest. And to start work the next day, whatever you don't finish, that's it. Oh, my God. You p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh, girl. Dang. Wow, Sabrina. Oh, yeah, well, you definitely got to find some motivation, child, to get out the bed. You got you to gotta get up and get, get going for work in a few hours. Yeah, sleep is definitely important, girl. Without rest, you can't do nothing. Your brain doesn't operate properly or anything. You get frustrated really, really easily. So, yeah, I'm not, like, the all-nighters are, are done. I'm done with the all-nighters, like, whatever I can get done in a, in a, you know, during the day, that's just going to be the end, the end for me. Mm -mm. But I slept really, really good last night. I needed it because I was operating off of an hour, and that wasn't doing my body. No good, girl. L.A. cooking some dinner tonight. She cooking L.A. I work in hospital. Oh my God, girl! Isn't that the Sabrina? Is that depressing working in hospice? Oh my God, girl! So you already feeling depressed, and then you got to go to work in that kind of situation. <laughs> Charles, he's so nosy. <laughs> Girl, all of a sudden, Lord. <laughs> yeah, is that um, is that the present Sabrina working in hospice? Oh wait, she said no. It's extremely rewarding. Okay, so let me get this right. Is hospice, like, once they can't do anything else for them in the hospital, they sit in the hospice, and this is, like, the end of the road for these people? Is that what hospice is? Because I would, if that's what hospice is, girl, I would think that that would be very depressing, girl. Ooh, girl. We tested that at the same time, Brown said. Oh, wow. Majid don't cook. He should throw Majid under the bus. <laughs> Y'all something. Oh, you be back back, Oliver? Okay, boy. I hate cooking and I don't do it. I know that's right, Majid. Hey, boss lady boo. 
How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, boss lady number one? Hmm? All right, here I come. I know that's right, Majid, because girl, look, I, I don't, listen. I'm not, I'm not excited about cooking, maybe because I've been doing it so long, I'm tired, so I know how to cook, and sometimes, you know, I like it, but most times, these days, girl, I don't like it, okay? Um, but, you know, if I have to cook, I, I will cook, um, you know, of course, I gotta clean, but girl, I'm, 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 I'm literally, guys, like, I am truly on the hunt for a couple of things, okay? Juicy hiring, okay? Just know Juicy is hiring, girl. I need a maid, number one. I need a personal assistant, number two. And I need a business assistant, number three. I have a assistant, just give me five minutes. Um, I need a maid, personal assistant, and a business assistant, girl. Now, the qualification you own, girl, the list is long, okay, girl, like, it's this long, I, I made a list of the, of the requirements, girl. She said, I hate cooking only because we feel like it's the same thing over and over. I know brown skin, don't you get to the point where it's like you get tired of the same old, same old, yeah. You're so tired of the same old food sometimes. <sighs> but yeah, I've been over. I'm like, I'm like I say, I'm I'm tired, girl. I got thirty something years in, and I'm so so tired, girl. That's why my husband does most of the cooking, cause he loves to cook. So yeah, I've been doing this a long time. Just domesticated stuff. I've been doing it a long time, and I'm tired. I'm tired of cleaning the bathroom, tired of mopping floors, tired of cooking. I'm tired of all that, girl. So I need a maid, guys. Let me tell you a little bit of what y'all, what you're going to have to do now. Let me tell you a little bit what you're going to have to do now. Then I got to go. Because I got I to gotta go home and get some work done. You got to clean the bathroom. Clean two bathrooms. Okay? You got to mop, you know, mop the kitchen floor. You know, keep the kitchen together. Okay? I got two kitchens. Okay? The one kitchen, that's the one that, you know, where we do all the cooking and where, you know, you're going to have to really, really get down and clean. The other kitchen, we don't use so much, so you pretty much dust and sweep and just, you know, just kind of, you know. All right, so two bathrooms, two kitchens, okay? It's the upstairs and the downstairs, so you're going to have to vacuum, okay? You don't have to clean no bedrooms, okay? That's something I'm not, like, I don't have no problem with my own bedroom. Making up my bed, keep my bed clean. My children don't have no problem, you know, with their rooms, okay? So you don't have to worry about cleaning any bedrooms, okay? So it's pretty much bathrooms, kitchen, um, vacuuming, keeping the, you know, living room, dining rooms and stuff vacuum. And, um, and laundry girl. Now, I will wash my own. Girl, okay, also known as panties girl, also known as underwear, okay, okay, I'll wash my own drawers girl, but I need somebody to wash, to do laundry, fold and put away, like, I need, I need, I need, alright, so, that's just like a little synopsis, my maid is gonna have to do girl, I don't need you to cook, all right, guys, look, I'm going to have to continue this another time, girl, because my battery is very, very, very off. So, listen, I love you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you share on all your social media network, your fit, also known as your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and your Snap. Share me, share me, share me, because sharing is caring. Hit the like button, and I will see you guys on the next video. Happy Friday, guys. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.